guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we are going to just be doing a little bit of an update, a little bit of speed build, a little bit of everything really I guess. Um, so I have been busy with Alphabet Zoo, it has been very very slow progress but I have been building in it and um, obviously we have now done or gone to the, the letter S which means we've done the snow leopard and the Siberian tigers. So. We've done that, and then if we go to our Zoopedia, which is basically the thing that's telling us what order all these things should be in at this moment in time, um, if we go down here, you can see that the next one is a Southern Cassowary. So the great thing about this is that we already had a Cassowary habitat. Now, I put the Southern Cassowary, like, I'll just show you, I'll just I'll just take you over there, try not to look too much over there, there's, there's stuff that I kind of don't want to show, but you know. Um, anyway, so yeah, we had a, a Southern Casuary habitat over here that I built and you know, I built this habitat um, and this building specifically for the cassowaries for the zoo. I actually built it outside in my structure building zoo just so I could build something a bit unique. I was absolutely desperate at the time because I started Alphabet Zoo like just before the Australia pack came out. So I was desperate to uh, play with the Australia pack animals and essentially what has happened is that um, the cassowary was placed here instead of elsewhere. So I um, have decided that this area here that the cassowary habitat is currently occupying, so I'm just gonna, you know, just symbolize uh, what I'm actually saying here and just delete this bit of this building here uh, because this habitat is going to probably become a clouded leopard habitat. So, um, I have a, a funky idea for this. I don't know how well it's going to work because, you know, as you can see, the lag is quite fun. Very, very fun to play with. Um, it takes a while. God, does it take a while. But I'm just sorry that you have to sit here and watch this. And again, I'm, I'm sorry if the speed build is just like janky because it's so slow. Um, so yeah, essentially this habitat sort of here is going to be probably for the clouded leopards and then the reptile house that I built ages ago again I built that separately um, is gonna be probably try and fit the dwarf came in there somewhere don't know how it's gonna work gonna probably have to modify the building but we'll see how it goes um, I'm just gonna be right back because this is taking forever okay so we're back after uh, waiting five minutes for that to delete this is where the game is for me at the moment with this zoo as you can see so essentially yeah we've deleted this now this is signifying that we are going to be redoing this ca cassowary habitat and turning it into a cladded leopard habitat um if i check the area you know it's a thousand meters i think the cladded leopards only need like 800 for like two so we are gonna i'm gonna build it up it's gonna be a very tall habitat i'm thinking probably like chain link make it like a box kind of like the snow leopard heights habitat did so yeah that's exciting we've got that there to look forward to and then i'll just show you uh so this was the reptile house that i built um back when i was actually keeping track of the exhibit animals in order because right now i, I just oh, i don't know where they are so we have this like little um kind of pool over here i guess we could put maybe put some caiman in that. They don't need much space, and we could maybe have it so that you can, you know, view it from inside the greenhouse. Perhaps we could fit a small habitat in there. And I, you know, I move this sort of structure over. They have this kind of water area. There maybe wouldn't be any underwater viewing area, but I think it would be quite a nice little, you know, addition to the reptile house. Just pad that out a bit. So, you know, it's not completely out of order either. So we have dingo, doll sheep, and the dwarf caiman would be over here. It would actually put the dwarf came in more alphabetically like aligned as it were as opposed to like putting it here where the like it was either going to be a snow leopard or a caiman habitat and I decided it's going to be a um, not snow leopard clouded leopard habitat instead of a uh, caiman habitat because I just it's a bigger area whereas the caiman don't need much area but I do want to put them in the zoo and I have found a way to actually add binturongs and the Malaysian tapir as well um, and the Babirusa, which is quite interesting. So um, we have our, if we go over here, again without showing too much. So we have our bird's tapir habitat over here. Um, 
I am actually have put in a little climbing frame to remind myself that when but when this dude does is officially finished, I'm gonna be adding the binturongs in with the tapirs, and I'm not only gonna be adding the binturongs, I'm gonna add the baba rooster as well. So we're gonna have a multi habitat, which means we can actually get all the animals in so far in alphabetical order, which is very very exciting. So yeah that's 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 the developments that way so you know i've had to do a fair few changes actually we had uh, a nightmare with the water uh, the lake essentially i am never ever doing a build like this again not with this many habitats that are all just connecting not with like under underwater paths like we have with the lima habitat none of that ever again because it's just driving me mad like i had to basically redo the entire lake um which you know it's, it's okay but it's it's just yeah, because the hippos, you know, they weren't happy because I wanted to have a really big group of hippos. They've got a massive habitat. This is what this was for. It was, this, you know, they were supposed to have this basically lake. It's supposed to be like when you go to Longleat Safari Park and you get on a boat ride and the hippos are just chilling in the lake, basically. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at. So, oh, and I've just shown you something that you're not supposed to see, but you're just going to pretend that doesn't exist. Although if you're hanging out on some Discord servers, you might have seen that. So anyway, this is our new location for the Kasori Kingdom. So, um, 
I have just essentially moved over. I've done some funky little, you know, art things here. I actually like this location a lot more. I much prefer it. I just think it's a lot more like, I don't know, it just fits. It fits a lot more. And, you know, like, particularly when we've got, like, you know, all this kind of tropical vegetation kind of going a bit mad. And, yeah, I'm just really enjoying it. So, uh, over here we have our monorail station as well. So, as well as all the animals in the game, I want to get every single mode of transport where possible. Um, so I have actually been planning for a monorail to do the right hand side of the zoo. Um, so I have actually built the monorail. I haven't put in all the stations yet, but this was just a really shoddily built station that I then covered up with plants. So we're just going to pretend that station doesn't exist. I'm going to have a go at building some better stations. I'm really rubbish at building stations and coming up with like imaginative things. Um, but there's a nice little walk here. This is this is pretty. Um, this, this hides the mess. So yeah, um, I want this to be like a really lush area. Essentially what's going to be happening is the timber wolves are going to be going in this area here. Um, and then, you know, we have our cassowary habitat, which I'm just going to do a quick tour of rather than do like a cinematic kind of a deal. So um, yeah, we have our cassowaries, which have been in the zoo for a very long time now. They've been in almost since the start. And yeah, um, inside here pretty much looks the same as the last one, uh, minus some of the flower beds. Again, I'm sort of struggling with some of the details just because as you've seen the lag is kind of crazy um it's mainly only functioning in like if i don't um i don't do too much it, it doesn't lag too much so this is this is okay so if i start you know deleting massive things and stuff like that so um there's a lot of tweaking to kind of do i guess to really finish it like this still isn't the finished project i'm you know i'm building it habitat by habitat but i often go back and do things like, you know, just different things that I didn't really like. Um, so this is their, their feeding, like, browsing area that's buried. And yeah, you'll just see me build this. Um, so yeah, that's our cassowary habitat. They have safely moved. Um, we have, I think they're called Jeddah and Blue. Yeah, Blue is our male and Jeddah is his mate, I think. If she's not, yeah, we've had issues with them sort of escaping. So sure. Oh, she doesn't. Oh, yeah, he's, she's not in the enclosure, so she's not there. But um, yeah, I was actually considering this was just a very, very quick. I just need to build a habitat and move them so I can do the rest of the zoo kind of a big deal. I was very happy with how this habitat turned out. I think it's just a nice, you know, one of those on the edge of the zoo kind of kind of a deal. So yeah, um, landscaping wise, I've been doing a lot, um, kind of like just you know finishing it off. We've got a lot of water, which I don't think the game likes either. We'll just ignore that over there. And then this is the other part that I've been working on. So as you can see, we have, again, I don't want to go too that way, but yeah, you can see we have like a safari here and then the monorail is coming around. It's a massive monorail. I think you're having a station there and the station maybe over here. And then this is going to be, I think, the gorillas and things over here or maybe over here. I don't know. Um, I'm leaving space if we get new animals that fill out like the lower end of the alphabet so we can pad it out with as new DLC comes but um, once we reach the end that will be the zoo officially finished um, so I think the last animal is like the western chimpanzee I think Oh no, the yellow anaconda. Well, technically it's the Western Lowland Gorilla, but we are actually going to be putting zebras last because I purposely want zebras to be last because I'm really annoyed at the fact that they just called it a common zebra because there's different species of zebra. So we're going to just have the zebra at the very end because like a true alphabet zoo should do, there should be zebras at the very end because I just protest the way they did this. So yeah, essentially we are getting there. We're almost done. Well, I've been saying we're almost done for ages, but like, believe me, when I say that I, it finally feels like we are actually almost done. Like, I think I've got too much space over here to actually kind of fill. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave you to it, guys. Uh, I will catch you in the next one. I'm going to be doing a bit more talky kind of videos like this in the future, just to try and mix things up a bit rather than just doing speed builds. And yeah, take care, guys. See you in the next one.